Only on 4th tonight, the family of a young man who jumped off a 14-story building to his death are looking for answers tonight. The close-knit family says they can't imagine why he would leave them behind to suffer. Action Force Joey Horta is live with their message for all parents tonight. Joey. Yeah, Ryan, the mother of 23-year-old Michael Cisneros says her son was battling depression. She never thought he would take it this far and wants other parents to look for the signs so this doesn't happen to their children. The last message posted on Michael Cisneros' Facebook page on the day of his death shows a troubled young man. The 23-year-old making his way to the 14th floor of the Via del Sol apartments in Brownsville and jumping off the roof to his death. The family he leaves behind in disbelief, calling Michael their angel. His mother, Patricia, devastated the former Hannah High School student, didn't just talk it out. And my only regret is I didn't get too old for the last time, so, but I love him. His aunt, Norma Flores, says he was battling depression. Depression is something that it's a saving killer, and people have to take it seriously. After the young man was able to gain access to the rooftop of this building, people asking questions tonight about whether or not security here is good enough. Not to let nobody uh, inside the building because uh, you don't know who, who can get in, so just to, for, for their safety. A handwritten suicide letter found with Cisneros' body paints a picture of what was going through his troubled mind, saying, quote, each day I was alive feels like a never-ending battle. Parents out there, if you suspect your child is going through depression, don't overlook it, do something about it, <laughs> because tomorrow, talk to your kids. She says if you or someone you know is dealing with depression, to get help. And because Michael didn't, they'll have to live without him. Cisneros also wrote in the letter that he hoped to meet his family again in the afterlife. His last wishes were to be cremated. Meanwhile, Brownsville police looking into the security measures at that building to figure out how well, or rather how, he got to that rooftop. Live in the studio, Joey Orta, Action 4 News. Got a feel for that family tonight, Joey. Thank you for that live report.